It's like a before. here uh i need to unfurl my bed because i will be sleeping here again but i mean i don't know how i'll sleep for the week that i'm back at the four days that i'm back here but looking at my google maps it's like a 15 minute walk 20 minute walk to get the rental car hopefully not block the street and make people mad at me that's what i'm stressed about pack it up and then drive to whatever here's the plan tomorrow is june 13th I'll drop off the car on the 14th in Boston. Fly back to New York on Saturday and then work the next week. See some friends one last time. We go back to the parkour event, which is in Boston. Go to Rock with my dad in early July because there's a family event. So I might as well not bother flying to Seattle or flying back. Then July 15th, July 20th, sometime around then, I fly to Seattle and either apartment hunt or move in because I, I had a conversation with some people today and might have a place waiting for me. So, ooh, I gotta grab that. I have to leave the AC in it here, not enough room. Close to give away some stuff to leave here because I'm gonna be staying here for about four days, but I need to come out and remove this from the window at least, but. All right. right now oh crap i need ac my whole back that was like eight nine trips that shadowed and so that's that's sweat but that shadow there was an ice cream truck that passed by so my biggest stress was fine um <sighs> ac will be blasted hell yeah i'm recording vertical uh Uruto. all right we have a three hour and 42 minute drive potential arrival 243 214 Mairu miles. I'm gonna get instructions in Japanese and uh, uh oh, <laughs> that's fine. Farewell! You know, I feel very lucky to have been able to live in New York City. I knew when I went to college, so people would ask, oh, do you wanna live there? And I figured no, but like, hey, I get to say I lived in New York City for four years, right? And I'm just driving out on FDR. It is a very easy drive. Parts of Brooklyn I had to go through were nothing compared to Boston, so that's nice. I don't know, I'm vibing to some Japanese music on my way. Waze is in English, which is good. <laughs> I just wanted to reflect because I made a video game therapy about this. I'll, I'll link it above in the corner. Uh, Mark in the future, it's 76, I believe. People are like, oh, why are you moving? And I think the closest I've been able to come as of yet is just the fact that like, the only reason I've stayed in the city is because of people. And you know, the group of friends I made in parkour, the handful of friends I made throughout school and the individual connections I made. But if you're staying somewhere for the people and something you can do anywhere and only those things, I don't think those are good reasons to not leave somewhere. I think there are good reasons to stay, don't get me wrong. I genuinely do want to go to Seattle. I have an objective reason to be on the West Coast and time zones and all that. I've always wanted to go to Seattle, live somewhere else for a while. Those are reasons to leave, and I don't think I should be stopped by reasons to not leave New York City. I think there's a big difference in staying somewhere and not leaving. The only reason I'd stay is because it's, you know, I don't really have any desire to go anywhere else, not even remotely. I, I'll miss. Not the city, but I guess the life I had in the city. Um, I think this is, you know, objectively, this is a big step forward for me. And 
subjectively, I'm giving that a lot of meaning. I've, I've been fortunate to be able to live here and you know, have the support I did from my friends and my family. Be able to have a job that you know, paid well enough to stay here for a bit and that was remote and you know, all this fun stuff. That, that's it for now, I just, you know, <laughs> bit of a reflective drive moving forward in life and yeah, I'm, I'm leaving stuff behind but I do plan on coming back to visit specifically for my friends. Yeah. Oh God, oh God. And it is 3.10 p.m. Well, actually it's 3.09 right now. I'm about to turn into my street. My quote unquote home. About three hours and 45 minutes. So yeah, the drive is over. Uh, now I am gonna, for the day, uh, and then figure out how I'm shipping all my stuff to Seattle. Nice. I didn't think I'd get to see my cat again. Hello. Still very skinny, but you're walking. I think I'm still allergic to you. She vibing. That's all the stuff that was left here. So I'm decluttering. Well, by decluttering, <clears throat> I am doing the Marie Kondo. This is stuff that does not bring me joy. I feel like I have too many clothes. I'm turning sentimental t-shirts into workout t-shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, just trying to minimize before I move with the kitty. So we had a change of plan. Oh, my phone's in portrait mode, I don't know why. This big box got all of the tall stuff in it. I don't know, more boxes over there. I got a U-Haul pod. So instead of shipping all these boxes individually, I will just, they come drop off this big container and then you fill it up. That, that's it. it. Maybe it was a bit more expensive, but saves me so much stress and complexity. And it'll take a little longer, but it is what it is. The bed is now clear. I got the work laptop. This is my backpack. It's the one from high school, I revived it. So this is one bin of stuff. This is stuff, this is stuff that I'm gonna add to. These are my clothes, just normal daily in boxes. And I have three more bins, slightly larger than this one. And so if you back up, this will all fit in backpack. The monitor, I guess it's gonna go in there. Ce n'est pas le mien. But all this, plus again, three more bins, like one, two, three is everything I own, and that's kinda great. I wish it was less. Maybe it will be one day. I don't know what this is gonna consist of, but I've just signed the lease on the new place. Not moving there until Wow, not even like 11 more days I'm flying out, but uh, find the lease. I have this little checklist here of all the things I need to do. I'll probably cover a lot of them in, the, in, this, in this first vlog, but feels good, that's all. This is my new home. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the u boss. It's actually not as big as I thought, but bigger than I needed it to be. So we should still be. Um, and some men, a bunch of moving pads if I want Yeah, this, this was nice. It was like a little more expensive than shipping all the boxes would be, but I think this gives me more freedom and less stress as well. It'll be like two weeks later, but that is what it is.
right there. <laughs> Once again, it's five hours and 41 minutes. We hope you enjoy the flight list. Now, welcome.